The Pokemon franchise is arguably an undisputed worldwide phenomenon. While we have the creators to thank for their inventiveness, did you know that most of the characters were based in actual living beings? Here are the top 20 Pokemon that exist in real life. Amazing! Number 20. Sea King. This fish has a dress-like tail and fins, making it a mesmerizing sight. But don't underestimate it because its horn can pack a punch. Obviously, Sea King is based on a goldfish, but not just any goldfish. It is the Calico Ryukin. They have the same color schemes, soft-looking double tail and fins, as well as the orange body. The only difference is the horn, but that's something the Pokemon needs in battle. Number 19. Love Disk. If there is one Pokemon out there that symbolizes love, it is Love Disk. This heart-shaped sea creature is believed to follow loving couples that it spots near the ocean, affirming their feelings of affection. And yes, it is also based on an actual fish, the pink kissing Garami. Looking at its form and color will instantly remind you of Love Disk. Not only do they look like they're always kissing, both sexes of these fish often spar by meeting mouths and pushing each other through the water. Number 18. East Sea Shellos there are Pokemon that have more than just one appearance depending on their gender or region, and Shellos is one of them. This sea slug has two looks, the pink West Sea variant and the blue East Sea variant. The inspiration for this Pokemon likely came from a beautiful slug, the Chromodorus Loki, which is one of nature's most interesting masterpieces. This bluish-white sea slug has patterns that the Pokemon lifted in its design, such as the lines, flaps, and antenna-like structure. Number 17. Magikarp when asked what the most useless Pokemon is, most would say Magikarp. It has been characterized as such in the series, and it only knows Splash in the game, which practically does nothing. But in the real world, Magikarp is quite sought after, and is known as the Yellow Eye Rockfish. Both the Pokemon and the fish have big eyes, sharp-edged fins, and a red-orange tinge. But if there's one difference, this rockfish currently has a low population, unlike Magikarp that can be found anywhere. Number 16. Ekans. Everyone recognizes Ekans, Jesse's first partner as a member of Team Rocket. This purple Pokemon is notorious for its paralyzing glare and bone-crunching rap attack, making it an intimidating sight to behold. Obviously, its name is Snake spelled backwards, and its appearance is a giveaway. To be more specific, Ekans took its inspiration from the Eastern Indigo Snake, which, like the Pokemon, is a constrictor. Moreover, it has a deep purple appearance that varies in different light conditions. Then there's its evolved form, Arbok, which is obviously Cobra spelled backwards. The closest animal it resembles is the King Cobra, with its fanned out neck. Though there isn't a real purple King Cobra like this, images like these are fake. Number 15. Beedrill Beedrill has been a feared Pokemon since the animated series first aired. Ash and his friends know better than to disturb Weedles and Kakunas because a swarm of Beedrills are just nearby. As terrifying as it is, it pales in comparison to its real-life equivalent, the Japanese giant hornet. This bug is incredibly deadly and is far more frightening than bears and snakes combined. As far as appearance, both the hornet and beedrill have sinister stingers, prominent antennae, and signature black and yellow patterns. Number 14. Charmander One of the ultimate fan favorites is Charmander. This fire lizard was first trained by Ash before he even had it officially as his Pokemon. Because of this, it became one of his most trustworthy and dependable allies. As fate would have it, the inspiration for this Pokemon came from the Eastern Newt. During its terrestrial juvenile phase, this Newt is called a Red Eft, and at this stage, it shares the orange tinge that's easily identifiable with Charmander. Also, this Newt is usually found under logs, moss, and rocks. And where did Ash first find Charmander? On a rock. Number 13. Vileplume Pokemon are not just restricted to animal-like designs. Some of them look like plants, just like Vileplume. This grass and poison-type Pokemon is a large flower that has toxic pollen and an odious smell, which it may have gotten from the real thing. Vileplume is designed after the Southeast Asian plant Rafflesia arnoldi. It is the largest flower in the world, has plump buds, and emits an excruciatingly rotten odor. Perhaps that's why the creators decided to make Vileplume a grass and poison type. Number 12. Dialga Pokemon Diamond and Pearl introduced new legendary mascots to the franchise, and one of them is Dialga. It is the only Dragon and Steel-type Pokemon to date, and is the only one who knows Roar of Time naturally. 
It looks like a creative stroke of genius, but the inspiration actually came from the Glaucus Atlanticus. The blue and white color scheme, spiky accents, and long tail are identical for both the Pokemon and the Slug. It is also called the Blue Dragon, and that's no mere coincidence. Number 11. Poliwag Poliwag is a water-type Pokemon that has a peculiar swirl on its stomach. This pattern on its belly is what it uses to hypnotize the enemy and gain the upper hand in battle. Did you think it was all creative thinking? It's actually closer to the real thing. Poliwag is heavily based on tadpoles, as they too have swirls. What you see is the amphibian's intestines revealed through its translucent skin. The same is even said in the Pokemon's Pokedex entry. So there's the inspiration. We are halfway through the list, but before we go further, let's have a trivia question. What's the Pokemon that trainers find very useful when breeding? I will be revealing the answer at the end, so stay tuned. Number 10. Krogunk In the series, Krogunk is Brock's Pokemon. Every time this ladies' man falls in love, Krogunk stops him in his tracks by using poison jabs and drags him away. While it is cute, it is linked to real life. You see, this Pokemon is largely based on the infamous Poison Dart Frog. It can come in different bright colors, but all of them excrete toxins through their skins. Their poisons are so potent that tribes use it to tip the ends of their arrows. Number 9. Pikapek Pokemon Sun and Moon brought a new batch of cute critters, and one of them is Pikapek. It is said that it can peck 16 times a second to drill holes in trees where it stores its food. That description alone is enough to tell you that it is based on a woodpecker, specifically the palliated woodpecker. They both have recognizable red crests, white streaks of color on the face and neck, and black feathers overall. Of course, they have pointed beaks useful for boring holes. Number 8. Gorbis Another water-type Pokemon is Gorbis, one of the evolutions of Clampearl. It is a serpent-like aquatic creature that can withstand the high pressure of deep water and is visually more charming than its counterpart, Huntail. If you thought Gorbis is a mere figment of imagination, you're wrong. It is the long-nosed Chimera in real life, and just a quick look at it would reveal a striking resemblance. Aside from the identical nose, upper fin, and long body, the actual fish also lives in the extreme depths of the ocean floor. Number 7. Sand Slash One of the most sophisticated-looking ground-type Pokémon from the Kanto region is Sand Slash. This bipedal creature has sharp claws used for burrowing into the ground, and tough spikes that serve as its defense. Those characteristics alone are very much like its real-life counterpart. It draws inspiration from the Pangolin, which also stands on its hind legs. It curls up in a ball to protect itself from predators and can emit a noxious acid to ward them off, just like how the Pokémon does it in battle. Number 6. Wooper. Wooper is a cute Pokemon that is both ground and water type. It has a rather innocent demeanor, making it charming and adorable. But did you know it got its looks from a rare kind of salamander in Mexico? Meet the Axolotl. It has a tadpole-like dorsal fin, feathery external gills, and a wide head. If you are still finding it hard to see the resemblance, look at the shiny version of Wooper. It has a pink coloration, which is similar to the Axolotl. Number 5. Levani. Perhaps one of the weirdest Pokemon ever created is Levani. It is a bug and grass type Pokemon that can spark debate based on its appearance. Is it a mantis? Is it a leaf? Or is it a little bit of both? The answer is neither. It is based on the leaf insect, also known as walking leaves. It's actually a bug that is camouflaged as a leaf, and it uses it to great advantage. The convincing facade confuses predators, letting it live another day. Number 4. Stunfisk Another peculiar Pokemon that hailed from the Unova region is Stunfisk. Cylan had this unusual creature as one of his trusty companions, and it proved to be a formidable ally. If you thought it looked familiar, you're correct! Stunfisk is the stargazer fish in real life. Its eyes and mouth are all found at the top of its body. It buries itself under the sand while waiting for prey, and can deliver jolts of electricity to both prey and predator. That's how it became a ground and electric type Pokemon. Number 3. Kabuto one of the most ancient beings in the Pokemon world is Kabuto. You can easily get one by resurrecting it from a dome fossil, although there are rare wild ones that haven't changed at all for 300 million years. That's a clever backstory for what was really inspired by the horseshoe crab. Aside from the shell shape, both Kabuto and the horseshoe crab have existed for a long time. Another common denominator is the fact that there are fossilized horseshoe crabs, so there's that inspiration for the dome fossil. Number 2. Caterpie Everyone knows Caterpie, the very first Pokemon that Ash caught in the wild. 
While it is a small bug, it is a voracious eater, but hey, it needs it to prepare for evolution. Again, it is obviously based on a caterpillar, but it is specifically designed after the Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillar. They share an uncanny resemblance in color, body construction, and even the orange antenna that releases a strong odor. Also, Swallowtail Caterpillars are known as hungry leaf eaters, so now we know where Caterpie got its appetite. Before I reveal the most amazing example, I'd like to remind you to subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated, or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. Number 1. Ditto The answer to our trivia question is this Pokemon. Ditto transforms into the Pokemon in front of it, making it ideal for breeding. The only problem is sometimes it gets a few details wrong. There is no actual living creature that can transform into other animals, but the goo-like appearance might have originated from the blobfish. The dot-like eyes and gelatinous cheeks is almost the same as Ditto. While the blobfish isn't a crowd favorite, Ditto is, so much that toys are created after it. Just like this one here. Which examples left you in awe the most, and what Pokemon is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.